At a recent Tesla Investor Day, Musk claimed that the next-generation permanent magnet motor technology would completely eliminate the use of rare earth materials without sacrificing energy efficiency. Tesla has already successfully reduced the use of rare earths in the Model 3 drive module by 25% between 2017 and 2022 by improving the efficiency of the transmission system. Of the rare earth elements used in Tesla's current motors, three are used at 500G, 10G, and 10G, respectively. According to Tesla, the next generation motor will reduce the amount of all three rare earth elements to 0G. After this news was announced, the rare earth sector of China's A share market experienced a 5% drop in the opening index. Why does Tesla want to abandon rare earths, and is Musk trying to reduce his dependence on China? As the world's largest reserve of rare earth resources, what challenges will China face as major carmakers abandon rare earths one after another? Okay, that and more is exactly what we are going to talk about. Okay, let's get started. Rare earths are known as the vitamins of industry and have unique magnetic, optical, and electrical properties that cannot be replaced. They play a huge role in improving product performance, increasing product variety, and enhancing production efficiency. Rare earths play a crucial role in permanent magnet motors for new energy vehicles, which largely affects the performance and efficiency of the vehicles. In terms of comprehensive performance, permanent magnet synchronous motors are also the most advantageous motor solution. Data shows that China's installed capacity of permanent magnet synchronous motors is as high as 94%. Another common type of motor in new energy vehicles is the induction asynchronous motor. Compared to permanent magnet motors, although induction motors do not require rare earth materials and have the advantage of being cheaper, their power and torque are lower, and their size is larger. So, why does Musk want to abandon rare earth motors? Regarding why Tesla is committed to a rare earth free motor route, firstly, they want to reduce their dependence on rare earth permanent magnet materials and minimize the impact of market fluctuations and supply chain risks. Rare earth material prices are highly volatile, influenced by multiple factors such as market supply and demand, policy regulation, and environmental factors. Especially in the context of intensified trade frictions between China and the United States in recent years, it is undoubtedly a huge threat and challenge for car manufacturers like Tesla that rely on imported rare earth materials from China. Secondly, the current rare earth prices are high, and the decision to abandon rare earths is made to reduce the cost and price of cars. Tesla also plans to produce rare earth-free permanent magnet motors through self-built factories, which can save the costs of rare earth material procurement, transportation, and processing. Thirdly, Although rare earth-free permanent magnet motor technology is not yet mature, the technical path is already in place. In addition, alternative non-rare earth permanent magnet materials such as aluminum nickel cobalt and ferrite have already entered commercial applications. In addition to planning to use rare earth-free permanent magnet motors, Tesla has also taken measures to reduce its dependence on rare earths by optimizing car design and configuration, seeking alternative materials and suppliers and recycling rare earth materials from scrapped cars. Furthermore, apart from Tesla, technology institutions, companies, and car manufacturers in China, Japan, and Europe are also attempting to develop permanent magnet synchronous motors that use less or no rare earths. Forty years ago, Panasonic applied for a patent on MNOL-based rare earth-free permanent magnet alloys, making it one of the earliest countries to research rare earth-free permanent magnet materials. In the past decade, Intensive research and development has been carried out in this technology field by countries worldwide, leading to a peak in patent applications. The composition of rare earth-free permanent magnet materials has become the goal of each research team. In 2011, Toyota installed a rare earth-free permanent magnet motor without heavy rare earth elements in its small hybrid cars. In 2018, Toyota announced that it would further develop motors with lower neodymium content but higher lanthanum and cerium content. In 2022, Honda and Daido Steel of Japan jointly developed the world's first motor that does not use any heavy rare earth metals. Moreover, 
Volkswagen has been exposed to using motors with lower rare earth content, containing only two rare earth elements, terbium and dysprosium. In addition, Daimler, Audi, and Moll are all developing motors with small amounts or even no rare earth elements. The reason why car manufacturers are persistent in going rare earth free is mainly due to cost considerations. Public data shows that rare earth permanent magnets account for about 50% of the raw material cost of the entire motor. The driving motor of each new energy vehicle generally requires 2 to 3.5 kilograms of high-performance neodymium iron boron permanent magnet materials. When rare earth prices are high, car manufacturers under cost pressure naturally seek cheaper alternative solutions. From the current situation, the new technology has not been widely applied, and the rare earth dependence of permanent magnet motors remains serious. So, as car manufacturers continue to turn to rare earth-free materials, what impact does this have on the rare earth industry? Permanent magnet motors are currently the largest downstream application area of rare earths, with the wind power sector being the largest downstream demand, accounting for about 20%, followed by new energy vehicles, accounting for about 15%. As the world's largest new energy vehicle manufacturer, Tesla's demand for rare earth materials is also enormous. If Tesla can achieve its goal of rare earth-free permanent magnet motors and extend it to all of its models, it will definitely pose a challenge to China's rare earth industry, as a considerable portion of China's rare earth export volume is used to manufacture permanent magnet motors. If Tesla can successfully achieve a rare earth-free permanent magnet motor, and this motor can reach or even exceed the level of traditional permanent magnet motors in terms of performance, cost, and reliability, then other automakers may also follow suit and introduce rare earth-free permanent magnet motors, which will lead to a downward trend in global demand for rare earth materials, thereby affecting the supply-demand relationship and price trends of the global rare earth market. However, this impact will not be significant or long-lasting. Although permanent magnet motors are an important application area for rare earth materials, they are not the only or most important application area. There is still a strong and sustained demand in many fields such as aerospace, machinery, electronics, laser, ceramics, alloy manufacturing, and catalysts. According to data released by the US Geological Survey, from a global reserves perspective, the total global rare earth resources in 2022 were approximately 130 million tons, with China accounting for 35.01% of the reserves, Vietnam accounting for 17.5%, Brazil, 16.71%, and Russia, 16.71%, with the four countries accounting for 85.93% of global reserves, and the remaining countries accounting for 14.07%. From a global production perspective, the global rare earth ore production in 2022 was 300,000 tons, of which China's production was 210,000 tons, accounting for 70% of the total global production. The US rare earth production was 14% of the total, Australia's production was 6% of the total, and Myanmar's production was 4% of the total. Therefore, whether from the perspective of owning rare earth resources or production, China is in a leading position in the world. In addition, China is both a rare earth supplier and a major consumer. With national policy support for the dual carbon target and clean energy and other environmental protection concepts, it is expected that the demand for rare earth materials in China will increase significantly, which will also weaken the challenge brought to car companies by giving up rare earths. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.